Good evening, everybody. This is Lauren Dar with Left Paw Press, and I have some extremely exciting news. Um, we have finally launched the next book in the Pug Fairy Tale series. It's been, oh my goodness, probably two or three years since the last time that we um, well, launched a book in the Pug Fairy Tale series. Yeah, because we had them re all, all of the artwork redone in like 2014. And then in 2015, uh, the Pug Fairy Tale series, we, um, re yeah, we relaunched everything uh, in Spanish. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I've slept since then. So, yeah, 2014 um, is when I found this fabulous illustrator, Florina Baldi, who also illustrated our latest um, lipstick uh, or pug fairy tale series book and she also illustrated lipstick on a pug is what I was probably going to say and um, so it's been a while yeah Zachary um, has you know kind of been on me at times about making sure that we get those books done because um, you know it's been a while since we've had one and so finally we have another book in the Pug Fairy Tale series, and right now it is only um, available as as the book itself. But um, based on um, demand, we may also make it available to the public in in the Spanish and in the coloring book version and things like that. It's just a matter of we have to know, um, you know, what the demand is if it makes sense to go ahead and do that. So, with that introduction, I am um, sharing this video right now here on my computer and making sure that everything is working because I know that <laughs> we've had some um, issues uh, when we've done some live videos this month. So, without any further ado, I am, drum roll, going to introduce you to Beauty and the Pug. This is the latest book in our Pug fairy tale series and you can tell that because each of these books has um, this back that says Pug fairy tale series <laughs> and um, we have quite a few books in this series and um, uh, I could probably name those for you and let's see so it started out with mother pug rhymes and then we also have the three little pugs we have pug benji in the beanstalk and little red riding pug and now we also have this beauty and the pug which ironically had some perfect timing to it um, when we um, put together the calendar last year of being able to introduce it. So I will show you some of the, the beautiful artwork. Obviously you can see that on the cover, but this time Florina has majorly, majorly outdone herself with the artwork throughout this book. Um, it is just exquisite as usual. Um, but every time she does another book for us, it just keeps getting better and better and better. And so instead of obviously having the beast in this book, we have um, Pug. See? Yep. There we go. So you can see it. So it starts out with the, the father of the family um, starting out on a business trip and his intention is to you know bring something back for his daughters his daughter beauty um, all she asks for is for him to bring back a rose which um, during a tired trip he happens upon this castle and 
you know, there's different descriptors about the castle and what he finds there, which also includes the rose. And when he goes to pick that, dun, 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 that's when trouble erupts. And that's when uh, he, he basically has to give up his daughter, Beauty. Um, actually, she, she gives herself up so that her, her father isn't, um, you know, put in a precarious position. And so the story really is very much like the traditional um, beauty story. Um, it, it really has, in this one instead, it has Pug and its own little twists and turns here and there with Beauty and the Pug. And this has been something that I've had um, on my plate to get done for a really very, very long time. And I'm so excited to be able to bring this piece of work into the world. And I'm even more excited at how fantastic it looks with Florina's artwork. She has just totally, totally outdone herself on this one. I can't say good enough good things. And of course, since it has pugs in it, I love the storyline. <laughs> so um, it's available on Amazon. It's the, out there now. A note about Amazon. For some reason, we, we've had, like in the past year, some issues where they'll, sometimes they'll list books out of stock and it's part of their marketing algorithm and schmaltz, and I don't understand it. Um, but Amazon's bigger than me, so I can't get them to change, you know, doing some of the things that they've been doing. Um, so, like this book and others may be listed as being temporarily out of stock. And please know that the Left Paul, Bro book, Paul Press books, <laughs> if I could talk, are never out of stock. They're always in stock and available for you. So just know that so you can go buy Beauty and the Pug. It's now available. A great story for this time of year. I hope it warms your heart with all of the cold piled up snow and weather that we've had. And um, I hope you enjoy it. So please let me know what you think. Comment below or send me a note. Thanks for joining me. I'm super excited to introduce this book and um, add it to our Pug Fairy Tale series. Have a great night.